What if I told you there was a range of hybrids on the market that you've never heard of where the benefits include more power, more forgiveness, more stability, and get ready for this, better directional control. For me, that sounds like pretty much everything you want in a golf club, so why have you never heard of it? Where can you get these hybrids from? And what if I also told you, you could get them at a fraction of the price of some of the bigger brands. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today I have the Inesis 900 hybrids. These things look absolutely gorgeous and you can pick them up from around 175 pounds brand new. And I think that this could make for a very interesting business model and also a very interesting hybrid for people who want more power, more stability, better directional control, and more forgiveness, a little bit of a cut price compared to some of the bigger names. So I've got these hybrids in both a three and four. That means I've got a 19 degree, oh my, look at that. Now that wasn't even that well struck, but that, no way. That is the first shot of the day. And I must say I'm a little bit, I'm never speechless. Hmm. Guys, I think these hybrids could redefine what you think about forgiveness, especially for the price they are on the shelf at. You see, if you've never heard of these clubs before, I will forgive you, do not worry. They are actually Decathlon's own brand. So I have the three, sorry, I interrupted myself there because I hit such an amazing shot. I have the three hybrid in 19 degrees. I also have the four hybrid in 22 degrees. Now you may think, James, these just look like your everyday hybrid. They're not jam packed full of technology. They're not designed to help me get better at golf. And they're certainly not a name that I've heard of before, nor would trust. Now let me tell you, Decathlon are one of the biggest sporting brands in the world. That one could be quite close, you know. Go on. Oh, just a tiny bit. That's, <laughs> that's two feet from the flag. And it was a little bit toey. Now, when it comes to forgiveness, a lot of people think forgiveness has to be some big, all singing, all dancing, brutish kind of club, when realistically, it could be something which is a little bit sleeker, a little bit more, dare I say, sexy for a hybrid. I know, I know, but I've said it. If you look at that strike, I've hit it out of the toe, meaning the face is geared open just a little bit, as you can see there. But that was the shot that we hit, 218 yards. It finished about three feet from the flag, and it was a lovely big high fade. Realistically here, what I'm really looking for is a little bit of confidence inspiration. I'm looking for something that's gonna be nice and forgiving, but it's also gonna be nice and consistent. So we're gonna jump out on the golf course in just a second and we're gonna test both of these clubs in here in the golf sun simulator for numbers. See if there is a big difference between a 19 degree and a 22 degree. Scientifically, obviously that means there's a three degree difference or mathematically, I could say. Never was good at science, but was okay at maths. But from here, there is a tiny bit of offset. So if you do kind of leak your shots right a little bit, it could be a nice club for you. As soon as I mentioned the offset, I've pulled it just a little bit. I would imagine that's gonna be a similar distance, 205 yards. So again, not a bad distance, although we would probably struggle to get up and down from there. If you don't like a lot of offset and you think, oh, you know what, I'd rather have something a little bit straighter faced, then maybe something else would be for you. But I think if we're catering for the masses here, not only that offset, but the shape of the head, could be something that a lot of people are really, really interested in. But I think if we're catering for the masses here, not only that offset, but also the shape of that head, which is a little bit more bulbous and a little bit more of a fairway wood kind of design, almost like the Titleist TSR one or the new Callaway Paradigm Hybrid. It is very much like the Paradigm Hybrid, isn't it? That's probably why I like it so much. That's certainly one of the best hybrids of the year for me. So guys, let's get out on the golf course and see just how good these decathlon hybrids. <laughs> that honestly, I would not have that down as a decathlon style club, no way whatsoever. I would have that down as a more premium golf club. And with this turf interaction, I think there's something in this and there's nothing on the website that says it, but these rails on the bottom here feel like they really do help the club kind of glide through the turf a little bit, especially out here on the golf course where you're not just hitting off a mat. Reminds me very much of the old school baffler kind of technology, doesn't it, that Cobra had and Founders Club had back in the day. But for me, massively, massively a fan of these. Because you see, for me, it is so important that you can get an element of forgiveness 
even when you are not swinging at your best, especially if you're 200, 210, 220 yards away, that is exactly what these golf clubs are defined to do, especially if you can save yourself some money as well. Hybrids are a club where they're not quite the sexiest club in the bag. It's not a brand new shiny driver. It's not gonna go the furthest club in the bag, but it could be a club that saves you shots. So if you can get two different hybrids and save a little bit of money as well, for me, you could be on to a little bit of a winner. Now, I must admit, the offset put me off a tiny bit in the studio and it's a tiny bit off-putting here. If you do miss your hybrids to the right, then it could well be a godsend for you. But if you miss your hybrids to the left, you'll see that all my shots are just either starting left or moving to the left in the air, then it might not be the club for you. But I think most golfers who are looking at a hybrid potentially in this price bracket as well, might well be thinking, you know what? I do miss most of my shots right with the longer end of the bag. So very, very well thought out there from the guys at Decathlon with these Inassist 900 hybrids. The beauty about them is as well, the three hybrid here on the right doesn't have quite as much offset as the four hybrid on the left. You can see it's a slightly smaller head design as well. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. You can see just how shiny they are. You can see my reflection in the top of them there. And I'm a big fan of that alignment aid as well. I think that looks absolutely fantastic. It really doesn't look like a kind of more cheaper budget style hybrid from there does it it could look like any other brand on the market especially when you consider just how good these clubs feel and sound out here on the golf course i didn't really want to comment on this in the simulator because it's almost impossible but listen to this I want to share with you something that most amateur golfers that I coach are completely unaware of. Okay, so we've tested numbers on the three hybrid. What about the four hybrid? Is there any real difference? Do you think, I mean, straight away, look how high that's gone. That's exactly what you want. You want two hybrids that are totally different. You want two hybrids that are totally different. Two hybrids that do two totally different things. Then I think even if you do buy both of these clubs, for 175 times two, 300, 350 pounds, that could still be value for money if they both do what you want them to do. massively massively a fan of these i think what i might be tempted to do is get both of them for two different scenarios so you saw me hit a nice long tee shot off the par three there but what about the 22 degree four hybrid out of the rough because we all know that a little bit more loft on this club can certainly help you when it comes to getting a ball out of a thick lie that's exactly what we do have here we're 200 yards out we're into a little bit of wind but we're in the rough as well so i think a little bit more loft will certainly help us here what i'm really hoping is when we get back on the golf sun simulator these two clubs offer totally different numbers totally different launch characteristics totally different landing characteristics because if they don't then you wouldn't bother with both of them, would you? You'd just go for one, maybe you'd just go for the four or the three, but you do hope there's a difference in them, even for that kind of slightly more budget price. So this does look very similar to that Titleist TSR1 hybrid, and it feels like it should be nice and easy to launch just like that. Again, that's creeping a little bit left on me. There is a tiny bit more offset on this club than I would like. This is the higher lofted one, as I mentioned earlier. That's come bang out the middle of the club and that ball's finished just at the left-hand side of that green. We've been testing numbers consistently throughout this video with the three and four hybrids. And the big thing for me is there is a difference in those distances. You can see quite a big difference in carry and total distances because there's a huge difference in spin rate and launch angle. So for me, two very, very interesting clubs, two good clubs to have in your arsenal if you really struggle with those long irons or even fairway woods. So very different numbers there. And that's exactly what I want to see with these clubs. For me, the big difference is in the higher lofted one, you do start to see a little bit more offset. That did put me off just a little bit both out on the golf course and here in the golf sun simulator, but two totally different clubs, two totally different sets of numbers. And for me, 
I honestly think these could represent fantastic value if you're looking for a brand new set of hybrids to do totally different things. I was hoping we'd just cling on to the edge of the green there, 221 finish. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Go and check out these hybrids from Decathlon if that's what you are in the market for. I'm gonna stay here and keep hitting them because to be honest, I'm really, really enjoying myself. Apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Oh, it's the same again. He's so consistent, he's scary. Okay, maybe not that one. <laughs>